All right, here we are at the bench again. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, I'm about ready to do a little shooting at the range this afternoon or this morning um, with this AR-15. So I thought, what the heck, I'll do a video on it. So uh, it's this is a uh, this is again another work gun here. Uh, you can see the light on it. Uh, in Pennsylvania, we have to use uh, we can hunt at night uh, with the use of lights. So uh, we go after uh, coyotes, foxes, uh, raccoons, you know, predator, any type of predators uh, at night here. Uh, it's a nice little platform for that. But this thing is nothing special. All right? It's a PSA or Palmetto State uh, Armory Upper. It's got a 20-inch stainless steel, uh, one and seven twist uh, uh, barrel on this guy, uh, chambered in 22 or 223 uh, wild, okay? which there's a million videos out there about the difference between uh, 223 and 556 and what the wild, how the wild fits in there. So go check those out. Uh, but this is just a standard mill spec, like no fancy, nothing fancy here. Okay. I do have a bag on it cause uh, we're reloading. I just put this thing on here. Uh, the optics I have on this, I had a Bushnell one to four on here, but I don't, I, I really kind of didn't like that scope, uh, especially for doing any type of, uh, load development Four power is just not enough for me. Uh, so I put a, uh, four to 12 by 44 vortex, uh, Sonora on here. Pretty good little scope. This was on the other 243, uh, from the previous videos that were, was kind of giving me some problems. Uh, the scope's fine. Um, the gun's fine too, <laughs> but anyways, uh, the light, it's a uh, Wicked Lights uh, light on this guy. Uh, you can get these right off of Amazon. It's a, these are excellent lights. Uh, I mean, we've, uh, we've seen coyotes, foxes, uh, raccoons out to 300 plus uh, with these lights uh, as clear as day. But anyways, uh, here's the rig and just a real quick uh, review. I do have some loads. So I will say this. Uh, the starting, uh, I guess, what's went through this gun so far, let's put it that way. What's been through the gun so far is factory Hornady 55 grain uh, VMAX. This thing shoots like a typical mil spec rifle. It's about one MOA at 100 yards, okay? But I want to do some reloading for it. I've got these guys loaded up here. Uh, these are, what I plan to do today is I want to shoot a group of, uh, it'll be three shot groups today with chronograph. It is 12 degrees outside, so it's perfect uh, weather for testing. Um, uh, I will shoot a three shot group with uh, the factory ammo, just to kind of establish the baseline of what we've had so far. Uh, these guys are loaded up. These are also 55 grain uh, v max but you can see cases have been annealed these are reloads okay and what i've done is i've run loads from oh what do we got here 24 and a half grains of varget up to 26.4 which is a recommended max uh, from the horny manual um so three shot groups uh all the way up and these are half grain increments basically and then i have a couple test loads here uh, now this is a, like I mentioned, this is a one seven twist, uh, barrel. Uh, it's pretty stinking fast. So, uh, this guy can handle some heavier stuff. So these are 68 grain, um, boat tail hollow points. Okay. Pick these guys up. Now I'll talk about this maybe in the next video, cause I don't want to go on too long uh, with this one, but now, in the Hornady manual, there's a 223 Remington section, and then there is a 223 uh, service rifle section. Uh, there's some things you got to kind of pay attention to, but Hornady did a nice job of kind of dividing the world, right? Standard rifles will have like a 1 in 10 twist, 1 in 12, something like that. These service rifle style barrels with 1 in 8s, 1 in 9s, 1 in 7s, uh, well, sometimes they don't like the lighter stuff. So I went a little heavier. So I've got a couple just test loads just to see, kind of get a peek in the box on how these guys perform at minimum loads. So again, factory ammo, uh, three shot group, then run through the test uh, loads and we'll look at the data. Should be fun. All right, here we are. I'm gonna do some work with this uh, 223 at the range here. It is freezing. It's perfect. 
Uh, low wind day, low temperature day. So let's see how we do here. All right, back from the bench here. And just to kind of review, uh, well, first of all, sorry the camera died. Uh, you know, I knew it was gonna be close. Uh, it turned out I was way off. It was not close. <laughs> uh, but anyways, here's the factory card. Uh, we were shooting around one MOA. This guy's a group about 0.83, okay? Uh, and then we start with our 55 grain reloads from 24 grains all the way up to 26.4. So let's just go over the groups real quick here. So this was a 1.2 here with 24 and a half grains. We have a 0.85, a 0.7, a 0.95, and then a 0.448, okay? Um, the other thing, uh, you know, that's worth noting, the velocity on this, uh, on the factory guys, was about right at 3,000. Um, this, this card, the, the, the light loads here, started out at uh, 2,650 really low right and then we ended here at max loads at 29.5 so we got really close to the factory uh, loads and our group tightened really you know pretty tight here for an AR so uh, sub half MOA uh, so um, you know as we start to pressurize that barrel we get a little bit better performance even with a one and seven twist barrel all right so the next, the last two cards here, these guys, these are the 68 grain boat tail hollow points. I am pretty happy with this so far. Now these were light loads. I just wanted to kind of get a feel uh, for this bullet. Um, so I just loaded up these, these two sets. But anyways, we're at 0.65 and 0.51 here, uh, right out of the box. So we're definitely, I'm definitely going to work up uh, more on these guys. Uh, and the reason why, okay, it's kind of important. Uh, I want to carry more kinetic energy on uh, coyotes. I don't want to go up to a 22, 250 or get out my Swift or something. So, uh, and I certainly don't want to shoot those things with a 243. Um, so I just want to uh, get a little bit more stop and power on those things. And with the 68 grains, I'll carry a little bit more kinetic energy, you know, I'll, I'll downrange. Uh, I'll put the chart up. Uh, you guys can take a look at the data. Uh, range is varied. Uh, I only had two data points on this, so the range is seven, uh, but was really tight, right? The the uh, the largest range um, was about ninety. All right, so I'll get these guys cleaned up, and uh, next uh, clip will be or next video will be with some sixty-eight grain uh, bow tail hollow points. All right, stay tuned.